Greetings from Atolia, I am the Lord Bones and this is the 6th episode of Ark on the Aerial Heights channel. I am the Lord Bones, like I probably already said already. However, I kind of alluded to the next episode in the previous episode by showing you some stuff that I did with our new base. And part of that there was actually incubating a few little animals. I didn't show you that because I hadn't done that at that point. But I have incubated a few animals. Now that takes freaking forever. And if the survey did not have, you know, everything turned up to like 10 times, it would take even longer. In fact, I think, I think it was like two hours or something to do just a basic uh, parasol or whatever. But either way... I'm going to ride on to one of my birds here, one of my most faithful birds here, although I am... Oh, I thought it was encumbered, but I'm not, it's just not pressing shift, am I? Let's go a bit higher up so like, you can see the area now. Okay, so, we have our birdies in this corner down here that are feeding from that little, you know, that little silver thing just there. That's it's uh, the feeding pen for them. Now, all these birds here, other than Flying Thing 3, happen to have been bred. So these two here, Jason and Julie, they were twins, and they came out of this guy, and the other guy on the roof over there. And I actually have bred another bird inside of there. That's the other one inside of there. Over here, we have our spitters. I would, actually, I've already explained which, the outside bits, haven't I, really? What I haven't really explained is why on earth there's a bunch of, like, dinosaur gates here, and why there's a weird, like, building over here. So how about I explain that there, then? So, I have... Oh, buddy, yeah, let's try to land this on top of the roof. I like landing on top of the roof, that way then I can just easily get off from being inside. Okay, so this over here is our little uh, baby over here. And this little baby over here, I can just say wandering over here and they'll follow it to try getting out of this place. He might not get out of this place. The kind of, they're not exactly the best at getting out of this thing because of the doors. Yes. See what I mean? Right there. They can't quite get through that bloody door. So you kind of have to um, get them to fly in a bit. Maybe I should have put that door more in the centre rather than on one of the edges. But either way. Let's draw him over here. Anyway, on the screen right now, I don't know whether it be a, a picture in picture or whether it be just the entire screen, you will see a sped up version of me trying to get this guy to actually uh, live, let's say. And this took a good... 15, no, no, sorry, 24 minutes to get him from a baby to a juvenile. And at a juvenile stage, they can then um, feed them for themselves. I basically end it off when it comes to ju when it becomes a juvenile, because at that point in there, they're just going to draw from this um, feeding pen at the back over here. Now, I notice the feeding pen is also silver and not brown. That's because it's a modded one. This one over here is a refrigerated feeding trough. So you power it with electricity. And this is not going to go off. As you can see here, the meteor is not going to go off for another two days. So that's obviously much better. This place here obviously has air conditioning because you have to have the best situation for everybody. For the for the entire egg situation. It's a lie to you, by the way. That's just because it's easier than having uh, power. You have to have the best situation for your egg. And the way to do that is through air conditioning. So I've got air conditioning, air conditioning there, air conditioning inside of that little pen over there. And you do that and you give it power by having one of these things, the electrical outlets. Now there are yellow wires and the red wires. Don't worry about them. The difference is these ones over here are better because you, I can actually pick them up on the fly. Whereas I can't pick these ones up. These ones here are here until I delete them. Which, to be fair, I might want to delete this line over here. I use this line over here in case I had like bugs and things outside. I could draw them to, to the other side of that gate and shoot them down with the, the gun. So I'm going to run through here. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to show you guys everything inside this base, which means someone could easily raid me. But either way, although there is quite a bit of lag between these episodes. But either way, this is the this is the one on the back. So I've got an air conditioning there, but I've got like four air conditioning units there, and they work in quite a nice radius. So if I put it here, the air gets usually fine. Because I've got like a few there, three there. There's three there and one, one more one there before I realised these existed. And I could actually pick them up and move them onto this wall to be fair, but I want I want as little possible to be on the outside wall if I can absolutely avoid it. But either way, this is our little pen over here, and I've raised a parasaur and a um a dillo, whatever it's called, the uh, the little spitters. And all this, as you can see, runs off of this generator over here. And this generator over here has gasoline inside of it. And actually it seems to not use it very much at all. Dear Lord. It's got, it's, I, I think I put just put, put, put us over a thousand in there and it's still 
up here and it's been going all night so I know no idea how often this goes down but I don't think I'll need to put any more into here anyway gasoline is by oil oil I only know one place to get oil from and that requires me to get a bird and just fly back do I have any more in here oh yeah we actually did it all didn't we yes we did so we've got much, much more gas gasoline inside of my vault back here so by the way this, this doesn't go onto an outside wall there's actually a little um, cubby back there so don't worry about being on the outside wall just there. So we've got oil, which I collected from my bird. We've got some crystal over here. And we've got glass panes. Now glass panes are generally used with this with this new guy over here. And this this here you recognize us here, this is the fabricator from before. Well, this guy over here though is the advanced crafting station. And it has a bunch more stuff in, like better cookers, advanced cookers. It's got electrical generators, it's got portable generators, it's got some defences like, what's this in here? Automatic search a light alarm, which actually isn't that expensive, although it does require some smelted copper. Where do we get smelted copper and glass panes from? Well, the cauldron, that is where we get it from. So we've got some copper here, that's one glass plate, two smelted copper, and you get that by sticking coal and ingots and stone together, get coal by putting wood in. So really, this has become... Feed the Beast Minecraft really at this point. We're sort of going through a big chain of things to make the end result. But that is what we are actually come up to at this point. The only other thing you can make in this one is a glass jar as well. Glass paint is actually quite cheap to fail, just buy crystals. I mean, it's not that cheap because crystals are a little bit expensive, but I can run to where I get the crystals from, so I can use my entire weight for them. So inside of here, I have jerky being made in here. So I've got 31 jerky being made, you put, you put oil and some cooked meat in here. I'm going to take this jerky out of here though, and I'm going to pop it into here, into our refrigerator. Now you might notice here, that stuff spoils in, literally, dear, dear lord, 199 days that will spoil in. I mean the meat up here might be a bit, bit little, little less, yeah, 14 hours it spoils in. And then the actual, I put the spoiled meat in here because I don't necessarily want that to spoil, to be fair because I would like to use that for narco berries and uh, with narco berries to make um, these trank darts here. So we do have some fertilized trike eggs over here and I might want to go see if one of them can uh, can be mated with, shall we? I've got a stego egg there, I've got parasol eggs here, I've got trike eggs here, I haven't got any of the... Um, I'm going to call them flying things, but they're PT, whatever they're called. PT guys. I've actually got a piece of crap in my inventory. I can't remember where I got that actually from. Let's put this crap into here. I'm not actually making it do anything on there, but I don't want to necessarily put it with my food. And it doesn't even help anyway. So, I don't think I have anything in here because I have basically a smithy, two little uh, molten pesties, because it's quite, it's quite useful to have two of these, and obviously a whole bunch of furnaces, a uh, spoiling bin over here. However, through here, we do have something new. We have another room where we have wardrobes that aren't even locked because the chances are someone might be might just not just take just take what they want to leave me with something. Whereas if it's got a pin code on there, they'll just destroy it. We have our campfire, which I used to cook some dyes in. We do have an old torch up there, and a window there I guess is useless now because I can't get to it. But either way, some fires over here for charcoal, and we have drinking water. So those pipes we fill were for drinking water. So that way then I could um, fill up a thing, fill up a what's it called? A water skin and uh, get all sorted so what I should do now is maybe then should I tell show you how we actually get these eggs to be eggs shall I let's go and see over here if the trikes are ready now this trike over here Stephen over here I'm gonna try to land on oh I did land on but kind of fell off him Stephen is the stud here he is definitely the stud because he is the one that I reckon will go with movement speed here. Yeah. So he's a bit faster because his tracks are a bit slow. He is the only male of these females, these four females over here. So let's try to get him to mate with Mumble over here. All we have to do is we enable them to wander and then you get to hear the delightful sounds of my Yuki being pressed continually. Basically you actually makes it so that they stop so they don't move now so they can just stand still and definitely mate. 
Now, the best situation for me to do here would be to speed this up now, so that you don't happen to see me doing this continually. But either way, I'll explain what happens just after this anyway. Just after this, just after this here, Mumble will lay an egg, and the egg will have the father of Mumble, and so the, mother, the mother of Mumble, and the father Stephen, and that will influence the level, which is the reason why I'm getting Mumble to mate with Stephen, because that way then the tri could be of a high level. So, with that in mind, I think I will do a little bit of a speed up starting from now. And here we go, we're just about done here. So now it is actually spat out a nice little egg. So I will disable wandering on both of these two. He has moved a little bit, but that's fine. We'll grab the egg and we'll grab the feces over here. And we'll now leave via this ladder. That's probably the best way to actually leave this place, that way then they don't end up accidentally walking out of here. They are all set to just standing still now, so that way I can organise them into little groups instead of having them wander in their little things. So I then put this into here, and the health shouldn't go down that much. These here, that's that one there, was put, was put in there like yesterday, and it's not moved a tiny little bit in health. So I can actually raise this whenever I bloody well please, it seems like, to be perfectly honest with you, within reason. So that's basically what this episode really um, should have started as me just explain things. I do have a light in the corner. I also have a ceiling light over here. So basically, at night, this place just is as light as it always, as always is, to be fair. It's not like it has to, you know. Although, the bloody metal does have a weird sort of shine that sort of, like, invades just personal space. But, you know, I can live with that. So, I also have a few more things. I have this, which is an assault rifle. And this assault rifle is fairly good, to be fair. I generally end up using my trank darts where possible, but this assault rifle is actually not too bad for actually killing things. So, I don't know what exactly we should be doing today, other than maybe going trying to get another dinosaur. And the only way to really do it there, maybe, is to go and make some of the new tranks. Now, there's, a, there's some new tranks inside of this cra advanced crafting station inside of here. By the way, you're going to see me running in and, in and through this base quite a bit. That's just the way this thing goes. So, we have some of these here. Now, these are trank dot 10cc and 30cc. Now, they're not actually that difficult between them, but where near to get rare flowers from? That is a doozy. I don't have any rare flowers in my vault. I have actually put um, everything in my vault so far. So, nope, I have no rare flowers in my vault, so I can't exactly make more of them. I do have some narcotics, so I could go and try to make some. Do we have um, is it narcotics? I need some metal, don't I? And I need some... Oh, didn't we get? Yeah, I thought we did. Let me get like a whole bunch of metal. What I really should be doing then is go and stick this metal on inside of the um, furnaces over here, the furnaces, the forgeries over here, so that way then we can get sorted with it, so about 500 each it seems like, is the normal, so, oh Christ, and now I've messed up everything because I happened to drag it into other things, didn't I? Either way, what I'm going to end up having a bit more, let's end one probably, I've got a bit of oil in there as well, because in you know, order to make gasoline, you have to put oil in there, okay, how about this time, we drag this out into equal, pile, equal uh, piles and just stick this all into individual ones. Go get some wood, put it on and we do have 100, 198 metal so we should be able to make some more ammo and we should be able to make some more of um, the trank darts. Do you go basically, I don't know, there's a, there's a guy right outside I might want to actually get. So what am I after now? Wood. That, oh, I'm after that there, I'm after that there. I'm after some wood out of here. So I can't grab 10,000 wood because of the simple fact that 10,000 wood, even with my high weight, is actually going to um, completely encumber me. So instead I will grab 2,000 of it and bung this all in. This might be a little bit mu much. I'm not sure what the efficiency rate is, but either way we'll get charcoal out of it anyway and if it happens to continually um, burn past the point of metal going away. So we'll do this here and now they're all on. Now we'll go over to... Is it... Well, we want to go into here, don't we, now? Do we want to move that into there, move that into there? I don't know what else the simple ammo actually requires. So let's have a look, shall we? Simple ammo requires gunpowder. And we do have a lot of gunpowder, actually, to be fair. Uh, well, at least a lot of charcoal. I'm not sure if we have a lot of gunpowder. Let's have a look, shall we? 
gunpowder. Yes, we do have a lot of gunpowder. Let's drag um, half of those out because the narcotics aren't exactly uh, plentiful anyway. Let's see how much simple ammo we can make. We can make 110. I don't need 110 of these, so I'm just going to keep on pressing crack a little bit until we get to the point when in which we can reasonably stop. So I know about there. That's... Okay, that's an odd number now, isn't it? I need three more. One, two, three. That's... 45, is something in 55, something like that, or 65? Okay, we'll go with that there, and then we'll make all of our other simple ammo into tranquilizers. And I'm not sure how much actually is required for that. Is it one knock? Oh, it's three knocks. So we can currently only make 59 anyway, but is it going up? It's not going up at all, so we'll just make all of those into tranquilizers, because I've got all the ammo for the assault rifle over here, so I don't necessarily need... Um, the actual um, simple rifle ammo because I'm going to use my assault rifle if I need to be protected by something. We're going to take out these tranquilizer darts and I guess I should, before next episode, figure out where the rare flowers are. Where have all the rare flowers gone? A long time passing indeed. And with that in mind, I'm going to take... Oh, don't take this gunpowder. Wait, this isn't, this, this isn't quite gunpowder, is it? No, it does not. I'll just probably take out this gunpowder, and this does not require metal. No, it does require metal. I'll leave the metal in there then. I'm going to put this gunpowder back into our vault over here, so that way then it doesn't go missing. There we go. Where has all the gunpowder gone? And oil, probably the very best thing to put in there as well. I only have I don't have that much um, assault rifle ammo, but it is pretty strong though. Like a full clip can do about 1,200 damage, so... I know you're probably not correcting me with the exact amount there, but I don't care what the exact amount is. I just know about about 1,200, essentially. You can take down some things, you can't take down others. Okay. So, I probably need... Well, I need some berries to be able to do that. So let's grab uh, these berries out of here. Are we actually fine on hunger? Yes, we are. We're fine on water. Let's get going. And I'm going to try to tame something outside. And I don't know how many darts it's going to take. And the thing, it kind of looks like a small mammal type deal, but I'm not entirely certain what it actually is, because I, if I, if I know anything from this game, it's that I don't know the names of any dinosaurs. Is that it there? No, that's a rock. That is not it there. Oh, bugger. Okay. The server just lagged a little bit, I think. Either way, I think it's saving the uh, map, but I've not got the chat up, so it's not actually going to tell me. Okay, it's that thing over there. Do you see it? That thing right there. Let's go for it. One. And it's running away. Is it running away? Yeah, it's running away. So it's not going to try to attack me. That's a shame. Two. Um, I'm not sure if it's running away because it's about to be tranked or because I'm tranking it. What actually is it then? Is it cold? Feel of uh, pH feel me yeah? I'm not sure. It's quite nice though. I mean, he's got his head in the rock, like, but get your head out of the rock, mate. It's level 76 as well. Ooh, there we go. So it'll probably end up eating berries, I imagine, then. Let's have a look, shall we? Eat some berries. Yes. You eat berries. Perfect. Can I clap these darts off of him? I can't, can I? Because once, once it's been used. It uh, loses its poison, doesn't it? Okay. I probably won't uh, leave all these berries that I was inventory because that's what, like, 2,000, yeah, 3,000 odd berries? That's more than he realistically needs. So, how about we try to name this guy, shall we then? So, we actually tamed a new creature. And that's really, by the way, is what's going to happen most of the time on this episode. We're going to try to find a new creature to tame. So, name your Fiumuria. Um, let's have a think, shall we, right here. Let's name our new female Razor. Wait, is it female or male? It's male. Okay, it's following me. Let's go. And you will go, I guess, into the parasol place then, because you're a herbivore. I would like to keep the herbivores and the um, omnivores and carnivores into a fairly sort of... Um, into the same pens that we then only have to refill the, uh, the pen once. Now, if you end up finding, like, insects coming at us, 
I now can just use my assault rifle, which actually kills them pretty darn well. Which is actually the reason why I'm not too afraid of being out here with this guy over here. Although one thing I do do, is I do take out the uh, Dillos and try to get some meat with them, because that way then it's going to level them up a little bit. Oh, come on. Are you encumbered? Or are you just really slow? Uh, you're a little bit encumbered. I'm about to take some off you. Are oh, you going to be faster now? Sort of. Sort of. Yeah, that seems... kind of. Okay, let's go into here. I know this here is going to be just behind the actual birdies and not really where we want it to be, but that's fine. Well, I can walk in a little bit and then I'll go down and close that door. Okay. Close this door. I have, like, two doors, by the way, mainly so that way um, there's an extra sort of shield between me and the outside world. I know this place is fairly safe out here. And obviously then it's even more safe for our um, parasaurs inside of here. And do we have any eggs to collect? We have some Dillo eggs and we have a parasol egg. This is a wireless egg collector. That's also via a, um, via a the advanced arc mod. So let's just do that. And you can have much less of those berries. It should just give you 200. And you should have a little symbol. Yes, you do. So you are taking from the parasol, parasol from the Dillo feeding trough next door. So let's go and close you, and let's just double check we've got a bunch of berries inside of here. I'm pretty sure we will do, because it doesn't, nothing goes off inside of here. So, we have a whole bunch of meat-wise. We have a whole bunch of meat as well. So all these guys are definitely happy. So let's just carry on going then, shall we? So, we now have a new one. We have a new male one, though. I kind of need male and female ones preferably in these situations, because male and female ones will actually do a little, a little bit better. So maybe I should take, put these eggs out of the fridge first. And I don't know whether I can find another one of these guys. Maybe I can find another one of these guys on the beach or something, or just a new dinosaur. I mean, that's kind of what I should be really aiming for now. I mean, to be honest with you, at this point, I'm not exactly at end game because I could go get obsidian, but what I need really is some kind of, well, I really need a saber tooth really, because saber tooths are really bloody powerful, but I'm not at that stage yet, unless it just takes less than, I don't know, 10 of these dart things to get a saber tooth. But they really end up being with like the families, so I don't want the, like, the kids to come and start attacking me. That would not be the best situation in the world to be, and I can't exactly, um, Bring a dancer with me and say attack my target because what's going to happen is they're going to attack the one I'm trying to tame. So I don't know how to actually do that unless I actually have to go try find out what the rare flowers are, where they are, and then um, use them. Because if they take, I think the better ones of those two, take like five or six um, darts, take down a T-Rex at uh, 100, level 150, which is like, basically there's worst case scenario. So if it's only five darts, I could easily get the entire family sorted with, couldn't I, at that rate? Let's go have a look. We haven't actually tamed one of those there, and it's basically because they're a bloody pain in the arse to tame. But we could actually do it if you want to. Let's see if we can do it, shall we? He's going to run at me, though. That's the only thing. He is going to run at me. We haven't actually... Oh. That was really quick. Is it a really low level? What level is he? Level eight. That was the reason why. Let's stick that into his inventory. And we'll grab one of him because we haven't actually got one of these. Is that a he, he or a she? That is a he. And we do have a few more of those around here. We have a parasaur there. Oh, we have another one of those there. Let's see if that guy there is a female, actually. I reckon this guy here will be perfectly fine, though, won't he? I reckon so. What we'll do is we'll wait here a second, wait for that guy to tame, and then we'll go down and get that other one and see whether that is a female or a male. If regardless of whether it's a female or a male, probably end up getting it because having multiple of them is not like the worst situation in the world to be. Also, it might be a higher level you know, than the one we currently have. So let's try to in a second name this guy over here. So I'll be done now. Have you eaten everything? Are you? No, I'm not sure. Come on. There we go. So we'll call you Bowser. And we'll tell, say to you, to say we're following for the moment, but we'll say you are an aggression, so that's fine. But you're not going to wander. No, good. You're going to stay there, and we're going to go down to here, and we're going to go get this other guy. Wherever that guy actually was. Somewhere around here, wasn't it? So it should be somewhere. Ooh, okay, there's a little birdie there. There he is. Is that a female or a male? That is the question. This is a wild male. 
is this a female or a male over here as a nose? Because otherwise then we could actually, um, female. So we could actually get this one here instead, actually, to be fair. So let's try to get this guy over here. What level was he? Level 8? Level 40. This might take more darts than just two then. Okay. One. Let's come at me. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Hopefully the comfies don't come and get me. Because they generally attack anything that attacks anyone, it seems like. Ooh, and the comfies are there. Yes, they are indeedably. Hi, comfy. Let's get you, shall we? And then let's get... Oh, that guy's fine. Can we actually tame you? We might be able to tame that little comfy, actually, to be fair. Uh, it, might, it might come out of consciousness, though, if that's the only thing. Before we only gain a chance to actually get the comfy. That's the only thing with it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's slowly coming out of consciousness. Out of unconsciousness into consciousness. Can we just uh, quickly force feed some berries? Ah, oh, bug it. Shall we just kill this guy or shall we actually. There we go. Oh, he's actually taking all my goddamn berries. Let's keep you firmly tarpored, shall we, right here? There we go. Remote use item, indeedably. It doesn't actually go up at all in freaking uh, in anything, does it? So you know what we're going to do, actually? This guy's a bloody annoying to be able to actually tame, it seems like. So what I'm all going to do is I'm going to just kill it. And take its uh, stuff away from it. So we've got a bit of meat there, which is obviously going to be not too bad. How are we over here? We are not too bad. It's level 40. So, to be fair, we could actually do getting a better male then, to be fair. I mean, the female is level 40, so maybe getting a better male might be slightly better. We could do a getting a... Oh, okay. So we've got the other one here. So, uh, there we go. Let's do that there. And you're following me now. I think, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay, come over here then. We're going to go up and get your husband, Mrs. Bowser. And, uh, or your boyfriend, I guess, because it's only Miss, not Mrs. We won't bother with this guy over here, unless it's drastically higher level. What level are you? Level 8. No, nope, not any higher level whatsoever. So there's not really any point in getting him. Come on. You can get past that there, can't you? And we'll get your um, other guy over here, the level 11. So probably, all our children are probably going to be level 11, aren't they, I reckon? We might be able to find a higher level male at some point in the future, probably, then. But either way, let's get going, shall we? They're not dying by anything, are they? Nope, they are not, indeed. They are going to, uh, they are. They have a love heart above them, because they're going to mate. Unfortunately, these guys don't walk very quickly, so can't really run, really, because they're not going to, they're not going to, they're going to, if I run over here, there's not much they can really do speed-wise, unfortunately. But either way, we can just walk with those behind us, and hopefully they don't get attacked by any insects. If they do, I have my shooty shooty of salty salty rifle rifle here. I'm not sure why I double double them up, but either way. And I think that's a fairly, you know, that's, that's not too bad for a sixth episode, the end of the second week of ARC, because I've sort of shown you some new stuff. I've shown you the, um, the raising of children. I've shown you, well how to actually uh, tame a whole bunch of uh, these guys, whatever they actually are. Come on, over here. You're going to go into the herbivore pen, but I might end... I'll, I'll walk you around, actually, to be fair. That's what I'll probably end up doing. I'm not being attacked by anything. There's not any things on the ground attacking you now. just sound like they're being attacked, that's the only thing. I don't want them to actually die before they get there. Ooh, there's that guy there as well. Is that guy a male or a female? If it's a, if it's a higher level male, Female. Ooh, that's actually quite useful. Let's try and get this female over here. Hi, female. The world says hello. Ooh, Christ. No, no. Disable. 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 No. No. Neutral. 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 Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ. Neutral. Passive. Uh, what's, where's the other one? Oh, never mind then. Was killed. Oh dear lord, these two are tilt attacking each other. Ah, okay, I've killed my male. 
I've killed my male trying to be greedy and get this other female over here. Either way, let's get this female then. Males aren't that difficult to get, so I'm not too miffed. I'll probably get another male at some point. Males aren't too difficult to get. Come on, female, dear lord. How many darts do you take? How many darts do you take, female? Dear lord. You can't take more than this, surely. I'm going to run out of darts on this rate. There we go. Dear lord. Let's go um, harvest that other guy down here. He might have a lot of chitlin, I don't know. I guess we'll find out what's in here then. So, grab this off him. Uh, a carrot in. Oh, hell of a carrot in, to be fair. Something is running towards me. Oh, it's that guy. It's fine. I thought it was bloody, uh, something's going to try to attack me then, which is not. So let's just let this be tamed. Uh, Miss Bowser, sorry, but I kind of killed your husband. Cycle aggression to attack my target, it's fine. That'll work. And we'll wait for this one to tame. However, once I get these back inside of there, I reckon you should, around about now, click on the screen on your channel. So, one of the videos on the left hand side is to my channel. I am looking through the Humble Bundle games and stuff, and looking through and doing a bit of steam cleaning, essentially look for having first impressions of a few games on there. And on the other side is the next arc episode, and or any other thing on Aerial Heights. Probably next arc episode is probably welcome me up there. So please break, comment, and subscribe to this video, and I will catch you next time.